Today I'm going to be covering how to upload your custom content onto your Flex VRA. In order to do so, all you're going to need is an empty USB stick and a computer and your files that you will supply. And then from there, it's a very simple process of uploading that content. So first off, let's start here. I went ahead and pre-uploaded, or I have some content here that I want to put onto my VRA. Um, it's just the uh, the usual characters that my, my children enjoy, which is Mickey, we have Baby Einstein, um, Daniel Tiger, Elmo's World, and PJ Masks. Um, so whatever content you want to use, does not matter the file format, it'll take all video files. Um, but those are the files that I want to use for my custom content. I also have inserted a USB stick into my um, computer. So I can find that right here. So if there's nothing on it, it's completely empty. It doesn't matter what the USB is called, but I'll just label it Flex VRA. But so I have a USB in my computer and then I have my custom content over here. So as you, as you recall on our Flex VRA, we have three buttons. So in order to specify which button it goes to, we need to create three folders. So all I'm gonna do here in this empty space on my USB is just right click and go to new and folder. And I wanna do that three times. All right, so you should have three folders. And then we do need to name these folders, and this is important because it lets the Flex know which folder goes where. So if you just kind of tap there, you can rename your folder. And we want to call the first one Custom 1 with no spaces. And we want to tap here again. And the second one we want to call Custom 2. And as you can probably guess, on the third one, we want to label this one Custom 3. Okay, and now we can just move our content over these folders as we desire. Uh, you can group things together so you don't have, you aren't limited to just three videos. You could put, I could put all five of these on custom one, um, but for our demo purposes here, I'm going to go ahead, I'll put, uh, I'll put Mickey on custom one. I'll put baby Einstein on custom two. And I'll put Daniel Tiger on custom three. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just throw these other two videos onto custom one as well. And I'll show how we can cycle through videos to find the clip that we want. So we'll let these finish here. Okay, and then once our content has been put onto those folders, we can remove our USB stick and head over to the Flex VRA monitors. Okay, so we're back in the booth and we wanna upload this custom content to our monitors. So I'm gonna demonstrate on this one monitor here and you would repeat these steps for any additional monitors that you might have in the booth. So first we have our USB stick that we just created and we wanna put that inside of the monitor. I'm gonna to try to do this without looking, but um, it's right underneath the bottom and should just slide in and once it's in there you'll see a little box here that pops up that says the flex recognizes that usb is plugged in so when that's plugged in we're going to go into our service menu which is in the top left hand corner here hold down for three seconds let go and we have all of our options here in our service menu what we're concerned about is the video option so let's go ahead and click video and then there's another button here that says to view the button videos, which we're going to press that. So this is loading. Um, what we're looking at is every video that's loaded onto Flex VRA. You have uh, access to either add or remove. Um, but what we're concerned about here is custom one, two, and three. So I'm going to go ahead and press custom one. And you'll see there's a button here that says update. And then there's a little uh, checkbox here that says update custom button one. That's what we want to do. So we're going to press that and then press update and let that go. Now, if you remember on um, custom update one, we had, I believe, three videos. So the first one may take us a little longer than the than custom two and three, but we'll let that finish here. Okay, now we'll go ahead and do custom two. 
oops, missed it there. Update. And then the same process for custom three. Update. All right, and we have uploaded our content. So from here, we can just press play flex VRA. Let our menu load up. And I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, I'll show you the remote here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press uh, custom one right here. And this is programmed for a right. So let's just go ahead and activate. All right, and custom two, I believe was Baby Einstein, custom three, it's Daniel Tiger. So it's all loaded. And then I also want to show that uh, this video forward and backwards, we don't use much, but you might use if you have multiple pieces of content on a button. So if you recall on button one, we put three videos. So I'm going to press button one, which I believe was Mickey. But let's say we wanted to get to that next video, which um, I believe was Elmo. Well, we don't want to sit here and watch Mickey and try to time it just right to get to it. So we can use this video forward to get right to where we want to go, which would be Elmo. And I think the last one was PJ Masks. So that's what these video forward and backwards are for. Majority of people, especially if you're not using custom content, you'll never use these, but they exist so that if you do have multiple pieces of content on there, you can navigate right to it and, and use that content. So that's how to upload the custom content onto a Flex monitor. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. We appreciate it and look forward to serving you. Thanks.